Hello, my art friends. I have a, I guess, mini art haul to share with you today. My very good friend, Emily, gave me a gift certificate to Dakota pa Pastels for my birthday. And I recently was able to, well, clear it completely off. Um, I do like Dakota Pastels. I'm going to have their website down below in case you're interested to go check them out. But I saw my one of my favorite brands and then this is their house brand blue earth pastels came out with a limited edition extra dark and i don't even think you can get some of these open stock so this is pretty limited edition excited to get my hands on that and then i also got a couple of well these say sennelier but they're not um i got a couple of lights Schmincke is one of the softest of the pastels, a little softer than Blue Earth, I think. And I like to use those pastels for my final marks and my highlights. So these are all very light. Anyway, so I know how fun it is to see a brand new box of pastels opened up. And I'm going to share that with you and do a few swatches so you can see what these look like. I always like to review this. I thought I redid this card, but apparently I did not. These are not actually in order, but I have them numbered alongside here. Um, uh, Dakota Pastels has a chart of softness ranking. Theirs is pretty close to mine, not exact. And everything's personal preference when it comes to soft pastels. But I feel that the Schmincke are the softest. And then right underneath that comes in Blue Earth. So these both are very soft pastels. Um, I think Blue, Th Blue Earth is just a bit softer than Snellier. Snellier is what makes up the majority of my studio box of pastels. And then from there, you've got the Paul Rubens, Unison, Mangayo. And it goes to your harder ones, your Rembrandts, Terry Ludwig, Great American, and then New Pastel. Just a quick overview. I know this helps some people. All right, so let's go ahead and open up my individual ones that I bought. And these are very soft, especially I find lighter pastels to be extra soft. This one is in violet, or bluish violet. Olive green, too. Olive Ochre Deep. Titanium Yellow. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this on this black little piece of... This is probably you are. It's uh, sanded black pastel paper. Very lovely. Okay, so here is the star of the show. I got this set for $72. And it's very important to follow their instructions because these pastels are actually vertical in foam. And I already did as they say on the instructions and took off the top foam part. So you could see what they look like in the box. Aren't they gorgeous? Aww. Some beautiful dark colors. Now, typically, I like a little harder pastel for my first dark layer. But I just love the Blue R Earth pastel so much, I couldn't help myself. I just have to be careful not to lay down too much pigment on that first layer. Now, I already have the Unison Dark 1 through 18 set. Just so you guys can compare in case you are in the market for one of these. I've already broken these in half, taken out the labels, and the half is in my studio box, of course. And I have them swatched out here, which I will compare the swatches later. 
All right, now for the swatching. This is a piece of, I'm not sure if it's Canson Me Tens or Lux Archival. It's slightly sanded. I was out at the pastel matte that was white, and I really wanted to swatch these very dark colors on white. So typically I don't swatch on sanded paper, but here we are, right? All right, I'm going to put on some music, and if you like to watch swatching, keep on watching. All right, I got them all swatched out. My hands are nice and dirty. Some of these actually surprised me. They weren't overly soft. Like, they didn't fill the tooth right away, which I really am surprised at and happy about. Because, like I said, these are very soft pastels. This isn't typically what I'd use for my first layer. And you can tell some of them were softer than others, but there's a lot of them that... Yeah, I think they're going to work out really well. And uh, the only other dark set I have is the unison ones. I think the only colors that are different... I can't tell if this is a true black or not in the, in the Blue Earth set. We didn't have quite a true black in this set. It gets pretty dark, but this is still like a bluish gray. This looks like it might be a... a a true black, not sure. Uh, yeah, this tealy color is not in the unison set. And if I had to guess, this blue right here that's a little brighter, those would be the three differences from this set. Other than that, pretty much the colors are a lot, they're a lot alike. If you were in the market for a dark pastel set, either of these you're going to be happy with. It just depends on how soft you like your pastels the unison are definitely they're harder i have used these now as my base dark set i've enjoyed them nothing wrong with them like i said i just i love blue earth and this was a limited edition set so i had to get my hands on it i'm pretty happy though they're like i said they're not too soft but i don't think they're gonna not work for what i use them for yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, keep posted for some artwork. I'll do something with all of my Blue Earth pastels maybe here coming up. You can see all of my sets. If you were in the market for one, you can see at least the sets I have and if you think they'll work for you. And yeah, well, if you like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you think about these. And if you own them, I know most, most people that have a Blue Earth set of pastels, they really enjoy them. I think you should go check out the Dakota website. If you're new to pastels and you don't know what to buy, what kind you're going to like, they have a sampler. And you can get it in many different colors. One's actually just a light one. I think that's the one I got at first. And you get to experiment with all different kinds of brands to figure out what kind 
hardness, all that good stuff is right for you. I suggest to go there and buy a sampler set if you are a little lost in the pastel world. Anyway, guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.